Hi everybody, hope you're well. Today we will take a look at our current exhibition, Sardegna Nuragica. Nuragic architecture was built uh, in the island of Sardinia around 4,000 years ago. The idea of the nurage comes from the temporary shelter initially built by these people in uh, straw or wood. Around this time, they abandoned their nomadic habits and started building more permanent settlements. They used local rocks, which is the only abundant material in the island, to build the very simple dwellings that have a circular plan. The roof was still built in wood. It was uh, relatively easy to burn the roof and conquer the dwelling. And they never learned how to build a vault, but they were able to build a false vault so that even the roof could be solid. The nurage is initially a simple tolos, and it can be slowly structured to become a more complex architecture. In time, around the first tower were built multiple towers, two, three, four, five, and eventually also a protective wall. There is also a different typology that exists in the island, even if it's less prevalent. It is the Corridor Nurage. It has two entrances that can also function as the escape routes and is more difficult to build than the Tolos Nurage. The Nurages were also built close to a source of water. The Nuragic people lived uh, during the Iron Age and used to make small iron statues. From these statues, which are mainly soldiers, we assume that uh, they were organized in patriarchal families. Each nurage was inhabited by an extended family of multiple generations. These people did not have uh, writing and coin, and so it is difficult to say why they built these structures, but there are two main opposing hypotheses. In the first case, the family hides in the nurage when they see enemies coming from the sea, waiting for their friends in the island to come help them. This uh, hypothesis assumes that the island lives in peace. In the second case, the assumption is that the island lives in war. Each family builds a nurage to protect itself from the people in the island. Because the nuragas were built uh, both on the coast and in the interior of the island, we assume that the second hypothesis is more probable. In some cases, the nurage became a very complex structure surrounded by a nuragic village. The nuragic village was built much later, when the single families started organizing themselves into communities. From these photographs, we see that the local rock was used as found. The entrance is always small and difficult. In order to get in, you have to either crawl or jump in. And once you are inside, you find yourself in a very exposed position. If you were not a friend, you could immediately be killed from the interior. The nurage was used as a house, but the interior is uh, very narrow, no more than 5 meters wide, and uh, the niches were used to sleep or as a storage space. There are around 2,000 nurages surviving in the island. On this table, we see instead uh, houses built in the 1800s that maintain some of the characteristics of the Nuragic architecture. For example, the perimeter of these houses is completely close to the exterior. From the street, you see a wall and an entrance door, nothing else. And the house opens into the courtyards. It is a very simple house with one or maximum two bedrooms and a day room. There is always an oven that opens into the courtyard and is used for cooking and not for heating the house. And there is also always a source of water. 
Again, these are single family houses built in dry stone. A family that is trying to somehow protect itself from the exterior context. In the last table, instead, we see vacation houses built by well-known Italian architects after the 1960s in the island. In 1962, Marco Zanuso built two identical houses that look like a small bunker, with very small windows and a courtyard that looks onto the water. A few years later, Cini Boeri, influenced by the work of Marco Zanuso, built her own house with a very similar structure. Here, Umberto Riva built these raw houses, again using local rocks uh, as uh, the main material for the structural walls. And finally, Alberto Ponis built a house to protect the courtyard that faces the sea. Nuragic architecture is today particularly interesting as uh, it is built uh, using dry stone walls, which is a completely ecological technique that has lasted in this case for 4,000 years. The drawings and photographs presented in the exhibition were taken from books by Sardinian scholar Giovanni Lilliu, published by a Sardinian publisher named La Zattera, that no longer exists. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!